Hey guys. Hey, Daryl here. I'm Kim. Hey, we're some days here. What's and this? What's this? We got challenged by Patrick. Patrick the paddy wagon. <laughs> I guess there's a thing going on. People are challenging people to ask different questions and give answers and see what uh, everybody comes up with. It's kind of neat. Stay tuned. Be right back. I wrote down the 10 questions that they had for us so that we could do this a little bit quicker. Yeah, and before we get started, by the way, if you haven't already seen uh, uh, Patrick over there at the Paddy Wagon, check him out on YouTube. He's just got him a new Class C. He's been traveling yep. around. He finally got out. We've been watching him for a long time. A great guy. We've actually met him. He's a really good guy. And you can learn a lot, but he's the one that challenged us, so go watch his channel and uh, Get some comments Patty and tell wagon them. Travels. Yep, tell them Daryl and Kim said hey. Okay, our first question is: Do I prefer to travel alone or with a group? Actually, I can answer that. We like to travel alone. We like to meet up with people, but yeah. we like to travel alone. We don't want to go with anybody else's time frame or anything. We want to be on our own page. She likes to leave me at home, and she goes by herself. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> No, we Sometimes. <laughs> we don't mind traveling groups. We've always found out that it's hard to get everybody to do the same thing. So it's it nice uh, just to go out and do a few things, then meet back up, and then go do a few things. But sometimes you can find some great couples to go do stuff with, and you're just glad to have them there because Kim can talk, you know, with the with the uh, with girls. the other girls, and and I can talk with the guys, and then we can still come home. So yeah, I think we uh, we'd like to go by ourselves, but we'd like to go in a, in a group setting for a while too, and have some fun, some social stuff. So yeah, but we prefer by ourselves. The most difficult trip or hike we've ever been on been on. We died laughing with this one because actually it was in Tennessee. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to try to go back and cut the video in so you can actually see it. We went to this waterfall outside of Cherokee, North Carolina. It's on the other side of the divide of Tennessee and, and yeah, North right. Carolina. And we went over there in our Jeep and went up to this uh, waterfall. Uh, waterfall, which was very beautiful. But uh, Thank God. But the trying to get up there... The steps were like this narrow, but they're like that far apart. They definitely weren't straight 88, up. So. And it was... Horrible. So I'm up there trying to walk, but hopefully. And I'm rolling, laughing at him. Hopefully, I was just, yeah, it's hard to. <laughs> I was on a mission. I was just trying to get up there. Steps and being laughed at, and busting out laughing at the same time. So there was there was these people that were coming down, and Daryl, they all said, "Please just tell me there's a waterfall when I get up there." <laughs> so hopefully, I can show it to you. And, and, and you can show what it actually yeah, happened. Yeah, it's hilarious. But check out our videos when we were in the Smokies, man. There was some great, great trips there. But that was probably one of the best ones uh, that I, that I know. That was the hardest. Uh, Carlsbad Caverns wasn't that bad. That was walking all the way down. Yeah, that wasn't a big deal. But uh, that was that's that's what stands out to us. Yeah. All right, number three. What kind of activities do you do in the winter? Hmm. Well. Uh, right now we're in South Louisiana and most times we've been in South Louisiana for winters out here We're working on the boat getting the boat ready to go. We still got the RV uh, We do some stuff with the RV too. So yeah uh, We basically come back here and what we've Work. been doing has been I've been working Saving up a little bit more money so we can go do some stuff and expand our horizons get some better equipment uh, cameras and a drone and odds and end stuff. So I always like to come back here and work. There's, I mean, what am I going to do? It's going to be snow and raining and miserable everywhere else. So you might as well take advantage of time and, and work a little bit. And we thought about this one here. Number four. Where is the most beautiful place we ever slept? Who? There's really two of them that really kind of stand out. But if we had to pick one of them, I guess we would say Smoke Inn, Washington. Yeah. Uh, my, it's been a lot of time there. We've been up to the Black Resort up there. Yep. It, it's just magnificent area right on the Idaho, uh, Washington, east side of Washington. 
It's just so nice and peaceful and osprey and bald eagles and... A uh, lot of nature. Deer. I mean, you walk... When I used to walk in the mornings, it was kind of almost like you were just walking. I, I told him it was kind of like walking through with doing Bambi or Snow White or something. One of those, because all the little animals would come out of the woods, the deer and everything. It was beautiful. Yeah, the valley up there on that side of Washington is very, very pretty. There were some other close runner-ups. You got the... Yep. You got the Smoky Mountains, which is really beautiful, and you got the Tetons. So Tetons too. It's yeah. tough, but uh, we really like it up in, in Spokane. We're really partial to that. And the Black Resort is actually, his, that's his sister and brother-in-law's place that we named the Black Resort because that's their last name. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun, though. Yep. We enjoy it up there. Have you ever been injured in the outdoors? Have I ever been injured in the outdoors? No, I haven't. <laughs> Yes, I have. <laughs> Kim, Kim, tell you, I get, I'll tell a short little story. Kim got off the boat one day, and she got off with flip flops on, and we got a little tow rail here at the dock, and of course her foot gave way, and she fell down and broke her ankle. So that was a six week process of getting her back and healed so after owning the boat for about six weeks too that's right so it has, we, we have a kind of a love-hate relationship because my foot is still killing me that's that's it's got nerve damage now that's that's probably it so yeah know, i guess I fell that's off, the only thing i've ever I guess done i fell off a jet ski one time oh that's my, right you sure did at the black resort I pulled my shoulder out and <laughs> it still is it right bit when i in the water <laughs> this one is hilarious do i practice any special survival skills <laughs> no <laughs> i go with the flow i just gotta go with my now we've got we've got a ditch bag here on the boat and if we ever needed to get off to, to survive for a while and we've got all our uh, safety stuff and enough in the camper to survive for a while Back when in my younger days, I used to put on a backpack in the middle of Colorado in the dead of winter and just start walking and go out and go underneath the tree and camp out. And that was all my younger days because I used, I used to love just going out and being by myself in the wilderness. So, But not so much anymore. Doesn't sound like fun to me. But we're not preppers. We're not doomsdayers. We're not any of that, uh, even though probably days is coming. But we'll be ready if it does anyway. Okay. Number seven, favorite recipe for cooking outdoors. I guess the favorite thing that we do is when we go up to the Black Resort in Smokane, we go, um, we actually have a, a cookout usually for 4th of July. It doesn't actually have to be on 4th of July, but when we're up there, we usually do a prime rib that um, Joe, Daryl's brother-in-law, uh, his brother Steve actually is up there and he actually does it and he does it very good. He takes the the prime rib and he puts the horseradish sauce with cracked black pepper and puts it on the grill. We actually have a video on it if you want to see it. Yeah, check out that video. It's it's a great way to have a good piece of meat. The family oh, got together. We had jalapeno poppers. The jalapeno poppers. That was going to be the second thing. That and the jalapeno poppers are the best thing. Cream cheese and all kinds of stuff. Yep. But uh, yeah, it's definitely definitely the prime rib. Or, yeah, or I'll a take, grill steak. I'll take him a steak out on the RV on the Weber grill or or on the back of the boat any day of the week too. But yep. that for a special occasion, that's that's definitely it. Yeah, it's, it's something that you really it's a treat. But go back and check out that video up there when we're staying up there, and we did that for uh, the Fourth of July. Uh, we've done it every year, I think, for the Fourth of July. Yeah, this this one is kind of a good one here. How do I motivate myself in bad, harsh weather? I really don't. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, <laughs> we, hard. Just, we just don't fight it anymore. We don't, we try to chase the good climates. We don't, Yeah. Uh, we don't go out and we stay out of the heat during the day and then maybe go out in the mornings or the evening times to beat the heat. And, uh, we don't try to go out in the rain much. There's just no need for it anymore. We don't have any sense to do that. No. So the only way to beat the bad weather is to go find the good weather, chase the good weather, or just stay indoors. Where would our dream vacation, dream trip be to? Patrick actually had said this one. This is one of his, and it is definitely on my bucket list, is Ireland. I would love to go to Ireland. Yeah, we'd like to go from Ireland all the way down through the, the uh, 
England, all the way across to Germany, Switzerland, all the way over to uh, Italy would be a great yeah. uh, dream trip. Now we've got some trips that we're gonna do, such as the Bahamas, I think Zuma's, the Keys uh, with the boat, and then we're going to do Alaska too with the RV. So those we're not really dreaming of because we're really planning on doing them. But if we but it's, but we've had actually, a chance to we've go, we've been to Alaska and stuff. You know, I would think this means some place that you haven't actually been to. Is yeah. what, kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, I haven't been up there in an RV, but yeah, we've been up there on, right. on a we've cruise been. ship. But for to dream something and say, man, if I could just do this Ireland. that's way out there we would definitely do Ireland and come down there yeah. through the the uh, English Channel and across In over Germany. into Europe yep that would be definitely fantastic. do it that would be the top thing I would think and this one <laughs> what's the heaviest thing I ever carried on a hike probably myself <laughs> <laughs> We usually just, if we go on a hike, we usually take just a nice little light day pack. Yeah. Uh, nothing uh, nothing Waters. serious. Um, we're not into the backwoods, rugged uh, camping. I've done that back in my youth when I'd have a, you know, an 80 pound uh, backpack on and, and just loved it. But too old for that anymore. So now we just keep it light and, and do a couple hour hikes. We don't get yeah. too crazy. Uh, like some people do and we wa enjoy watching other people's videos when they're going hike hiking too like uh, Snowmads is one of them that do a lot of hiking so Nomads not Snowmads. Oh, that's right. It's Nomads. <laughs> I was wondering who the hell is that? that uh, makes there's me. probably Snowmads too. And now we have to challenge somebody. So we're going to challenge two people. We're going to challenge Tracy and Brett with CRRV and we're also going to challenge John and his net, his um, YouTube is John C R V. Those are the two people that we're going to challenge. Yep, we've been watching them for a while. Long they, time. They've been watching us for a while and always commenting on us, and uh, we think they would be uh, good people to uh, to challenge and see what they've been up to, and what right. they've been doing. So the challenge is out for y'all now. That's right. But hey, we had a great day. Glad y'all could stop in and see the video. Give us a thumbs up, please. Comment down below. Tell us some of your uh, challenging motions or, at, or uh, ask the questions. And hey, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We've got a lot of videos coming up. We're making two more today uh, that we're going to get up soon. And uh, I believe we still got to uh, do some stuff with the RV uh, on, on, some, on uh, some videos. So a lot of stuff coming up. It's just not about the boat. It's just not about the video. It's some days here for us that we can do things. I mean, it's not about the RV. Yeah, it's not all about the RV and it's not all about the boat. So it's uh, it's it's us kicking back and relaxing and, and enjoying life, you know, working and recreation and stuff like that. But we're glad you're here. Yep. So until next time. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. I wish ours was starting now. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs>